It's no secret that Apple is a powerhouse in the tech industry, but something is brewing behind the scenes that could be truly game-changing. Some of the loudest critics, they blamed Apple for not having an AI strategy like its mega cap here. While the company has been tight-lipped about its AI plans, there are signs that Apple is making a play for AI dominance very soon. It's not a business services company like Microsoft is, and like Google is, Alphabet is, so I don't know how much uh, AI is going to impact their revenue. And in this video, I will share everything you need to know about it. Apple's journey of artificial intelligence began quietly but steadily. In the early 2010s, Siri emerged as their first significant AI-powered feature, bringing voice recognition and natural language processing to iPhones. Siri could understand spoken commands and perform tasks like setting reminders, sending messages, and answering questions. As Apple's AI ambitions grew, so did its acquisitions. In 2010, Apple acquired Siri Inc., laying the groundwork for its AI development. They continued to acquire smaller AI startups like Turi, Percepcio, and VocalIQ, bolstering their expertise in machine learning, computer vision, and natural language understanding. In 2017, Apple introduced the Neural Engine a dedicated AI processor embedded in its devices. This chip accelerated tasks like facial recognition for Face ID, enhancing device security, and enabling features like Animoji, which animate emojis based on users' facial expressions. Apple's AI efforts expanded beyond individual devices to encompass its ecosystem. With features like continuity, handoff, and proactive suggestions, Apple devices began working together seamlessly, anticipating users' needs and providing personalized experiences across iPhones, iPads, Macs, and Apple Watches. Privacy has been a cornerstone of Apple's AI strategy. They develop techniques like federated learning, enabling AI models to learn from user data without compromising individual privacy. Differential privacy techniques add noise to data, protecting user anonymity while still providing valuable insights for AI training. In recent years, Apple has made significant strides in AI research, publishing papers on various topics like machine learning, computer vision, and natural language processing. They've also focused on improving AI accessibility through initiatives like CoreML, which allows developers to integrate machine learning models into their apps with ease. However, little was heard from the tech giant during the 2023 AI development rush. Most recently, Samsung and Google Cloud joined forces earlier this year to bring generative AI to the Samsung Galaxy S24 series, prompting speculation that Apple's death was near. If you also feel that way, I'm here to change your mindset. Apple may not be making as much noise as Microsoft, Google, and NVIDIA, but believe me when I say Apple is about to seize the crown as the king of AI. Morgan Stanley has reported that 2024 will be the year when Apple's Edge AI opportunity will likely come to fruition. Here's the thing. Edge AI represents a significant shift in how artificial intelligence operates. Unlike traditional AI systems that rely on CPUs or cloud servers to process data and make decisions, Edge AI brings that processing power directly to the device where the data is generated. This means devices like smartphones, cameras, and sensors sensors can analyze data in real time without needing to send it to a central server. This shift towards Edge AI is driven by several factors. First, it reduces the delay of data transfer since this data doesn't have to travel back and forth to a central server, enabling faster decision making. Second, it enhances privacy and security by keeping sensitive data on the device rather than transmitting it over potentially insecure networks. Third, it enables offline functionality, allowing devices to perform AI tasks even when they're not connected to the internet. One of the most exciting aspects of Edge AI is its potential to revolutionize various industries. For example, in healthcare, Edge AI can power wearable devices that monitor vital signs and provide early warning signs for health issues. In retail, it can enable smart shelves that automatically track inventory levels and optimize restocking processes. In manufacturing, Edge AI can improve quality control by analyzing product defects in real time on the factory floor. So how close is Apple to getting it? Very close. By vertically integrating hardware, software, Software, silicon, and services, Apple aims to seamlessly integrate AI capabilities directly into its devices, bringing powerful processing capabilities closer to the user. This integration allows for faster and more efficient processing of data without the need to rely heavily on cloud-based servers. One of the key elements of Apple's Edge AI strategy is its custom-designed silicon, such as the Apple Design chips found in iPhones, iPads, and Macs. These chips are unlike anything that has been seen before. They combine powerful AI capabilities with state-of-the-art computing power, making them uniquely suited for AI tasks. While other companies like Samsung and NVIDIA have their chips, they don't come close to Apple's new chips in terms of AI performance. This is due in part to Apple's control over both the hardware and software, which allows the company
company to optimize its chips for AI in a way that no other company can match. But there's more to this. Apple's software ecosystem, including iOS, Mac OS, and its suite of apps and services, is optimized to leverage the capabilities of its custom silicon. This tight integration ensures that AI-powered features and functionalities are seamlessly integrated into the fabric of the user experience, enhancing usability and performance across Apple devices. Additionally, Apple's focus on privacy and security is integral to its Edge AI approach. By processing data locally on a device, Apple can minimize the need to send sensitive information to remote servers, reducing the risk of unauthorized access or data breaches. This commitment to privacy and security is a cornerstone of Apple's brand identity and is reflected in its design and implementation of AI technologies. You are probably thinking you have heard it all, but did you know that Apple spent the whole of 2023 acquiring AI startup companies? The statistics with us confirm that Apple acquired 30 AI companies in 2023 only. Microsoft bought 12 companies, Meta acquired 11, and Google was able to get 8. From these numbers, you can see that Apple is not playing around like we thought. The company is reportedly investing $1 billion per year to integrate generative artificial intelligence across its product line. Apple has recognized the significance of generative AI and has been developing its technology for quite some time. However, recent rapid advancements in AI caught the company by surprise, leading to a period of catching up starting late last year. To address this challenge, Apple has created its extensive language model called Ajax and introduced an internal chatbot named Apple GPT for testing purposes. Leading this initiative are Apple's senior vice presidents overseeing AI and software engineering, John Gianandrea and Craig Federighi, with support from Eddie Q, the head of services. Gianandrea's team is primarily focused on refining the technology behind a new AI system, aiming to enhance Siri with generative AI capabilities, potentially ready as soon as next year. Federighi's software engineering group is also hard at work integrating AI into the upcoming iOS version, improving features like Siri and messages for more intuitive responses and suggestions. Expanding beyond Siri and iOS, Apple is exploring opportunities to incorporate generative AI across its ecosystem. This includes potential integration into development tools like Xcode, streamlining app development, as well as exploring applications and services such as Apple Music and productivity tools like Pages and Keynote. This development aligns with the broader trend of companies embracing generative AI for transformational purposes. While Apple's approach may seem less flashy compared to its peers in big tech, Cook emphasized in September 2023, we view AI and machine learning as core fundamental technologies that are integral to virtually every product that we build. But are you still asking how Apple is going to monetize this leverage? Because the answer is pretty clear. Apple's integration of AI into its products like the iPhone 15, Apple Watch Series 9, and Vision Pro headset is already clear evidence. By incorporating AI technologies such as personal voice synthesis, real-time transcription, and machine learning powered camera features, Apple is not only enhancing the functionality of its devices, but also creating new monetization opportunities. For instance, the personalized voice feature in the iPhone 15 can revolutionize communication by allowing users to speak in their voice during FaceTime and phone calls, potentially driving increased usage and demand for Apple's communication services. Similarly, the advanced health monitoring capabilities in the Apple Watch Series 9 can attract health-conscious consumers willing to pay a premium for cutting-edge wellness features. Also, the integration of AI into the Vision Pro headset opens up possibilities for immersive experiences and virtual collaboration, which could lead to additional revenue streams through app sales, subscriptions, and content partnerships. Overall, Apple's strategic integration of AI not only enhances the appeal and functionality of its products, but also creates opportunities for monetization through increased sales, premium features, and ecosystem expansion. Can we now crown Apple the king of AI? Tell me what you think. Also, watch these videos that I've selected just for you.